I'm Robbie Hausman, and I play cello in the Buffalo Philharmonic Orchestra. Today I want to share with you a couple of my favorite practice tips. Now, when you're starting to practice, obviously the most important thing to do is to tune your cello. So I suggest you tune each string individually and use a tuner if you have one. So your A. play them individually, play them as fifths. And then you might need to tune up the lower string a little bit higher. That helps the perfect fifth sound even better. When you're tuning, use your best bow position best bow hold, and also play with a nice, beautiful sound. Because you can hear the intonation better, and also you are practicing getting a good sound, and you're practicing your, your uh, best bow hold. Now, um, something I really find useful in my practicing and teaching is singing what I'm going to play. So if I'm going to play a D major scale, I sing it first. D, E, F sharp, G, A, B, C sharp, D, and I bet if you sing it, you will play it in tune. And everybody can sing. So please don't be afraid to sing. If you need to, shut your door. But um, the more you sing the parts that you want to play, the better they'll be. And this is something you can do at home on your own without a teacher. And the most important practicing that you do is what you do at home. Now I want to just give you another one of my um, favorite practicing ideas. And I'll use it for an example, the beginning of the swan. So I want to get that as legato and singing as I can, but I'll try to use different bowings to practice it, like and I'll play it the way it's written. So if 
you practice things different ways, you will get a, uh, usually you'll get a better result uh, than doing it the same way over and over again. Uh, so I hope you've enjoyed these practice tips and um, thank you. Uh...